Thank you for selecting Lakeland products. As a leader in the tube fabricating industry for over 40 years, Lakeland Products has a long-established reputation of quality, dependability, and versatility. In this video, you'll see tube bending equipment capable of meeting a variety of needs in the low to medium volume production markets. This is the Model 416 tube bender. The model number designates the sizes of tubing that the machine will bend. The 416 bender is capable of bending quarter inch through one inch annealed soft copper, standard steel, stainless steel, or aluminum tubing. Bending tubing with a Model 416 bender requires the base machine, a combination slide block, and the desired radius block. It is important to secure the Model 416 bender in a vise or in a mounting adapter that is fastened to a sturdy bench or table. To operate the Model 416, there are four basic steps. Step one, select your tubing and mark the bend starting point. We've selected a size eight, or half inch OD annealed tube. Annealing is a process that softens the tube to make bending easier. It also reduces the amount of spring back after the bending process. Mark the tube where the bend is to start with a pencil or other marking pen. Do not cut into the tube surface in any way as this will form a weak spot in the tube. Step two, select the proper radius block. The radius block is determined by the tube OD and the desired bend radius. The bend radius is always measured from center line of the tube to the center line of the radius block. In this case, we're using an eight by two or half inch tube that will bend to a two inch radius. The tube size and the bend radius are stamped on the top of each radius block for easy identification. Position the radius block on the bender by sliding the block over the center post pins so that the zero degree mark is toward the vice face and handle end of the bender. Each radius block has the degree of bend marked on the top starting at zero to 180 degrees. Align the mark on the tube with the zero degree mark on the radius block. Engage the clamping mechanism and tighten the thumb screw securely. Step three, select the proper groove and the combination slide block to suit the OD of the tube. In this case, size eight. Each tube size is stamped on the end of the slide block. Place the slide block on the bender frame between the vice plate and the radius block. Align the number eight groove and the combination slide block with the tubing and position the end of the slide block adjacent to the zero degree mark on the radius block. Turn the clamp nut clockwise to engage slide block and finger tighten only to allow the slide block to follow the tubing and support the OD of the tube during the bending. A film of grease on the tubing will help ease sliding. Turn the drive nut clockwise to engage the worm gear drive mechanism. Step four. Begin to make the bend by attaching the bender wrench to the drive nut. Turn clockwise until the desired bend degree on the radius block is adjacent to the left side of the vice face. Turn three to five degrees more to allow for spring back of annealed tubing. If tubing is used that is not annealed, allow more for spring back. Spring back is determined by the size of tubing and type of material, as well as the degree of bend. After the bend is complete, Place the wrench on the vice nut and turn counterclockwise until the vice face is far enough back to allow the slide block to be removed. Loosen the thumb nut, disengage the clamping mechanism and remove the tube. Turn the drive nut counterclockwise to disengage the worm drive and swing the drive gear and radius block back to the starting position. The 416 bender is now ready to bend another tube. In addition to Lakeland's 416 bender, a number of accessories is available to make tube bending even easier. A selection of mandrels, flared end radius blocks, a bender table, and a bend angle indexing gauge are readily available for use with all bender machines. For quality, dependability, and versatility, Lakeland Products is the right choice for your tube bending needs.